heart of everything we do. It is my honor to present the President's Distinguished Scholar Award. I am presenting this award to a student who is graduating with a 4.0 GPA and who has overcome major obstacles in life while attending college at the same time. The recipient of this award must complete a transfer degree within three and a half years and have plans to attend a four-year school after graduation. Please join me in congratulating the 2013 President's Distinguished Scholar, Mike Moeller. a little bit about Mark. In working through his own health problems, Mark developed a desire to help serve others through a career in the health professions. Mark's experience with allergies, eczema, and asthma helped him develop knowledge of holistic health, compassion for those who struggle with illness, and a strong desire to help others. Mark is a Kansas City, Missouri native who is now living in Durango and entered the nursing program at Southwest Colorado Community College. He has excellent academics, earning a 4.0 grade point average at SCCC, all the while working through chronic health problems, overcoming financial hardships, while still focusing on the long-term goal of giving back and maintaining his vision of becoming a nurse. Mark has been supported through his journey by his wife, Rebecca, and joyful five-year-old daughter, Ari. Mark is an active member of the community. He's been involved with Heartless co-housing and Columbian Christian How School. How does she know her name? How she know I'm high? They told Mark her. Mark the her. Southwest Colorado AHEC Nightingale Luminary Scholarship. He is graduating today with an Associates of Applied Science degree in nursing and intends to continue his education to become a nurse practitioner. A quote from Mark sums up his philosophy about, about healing and the health profession he will be entering. When you help someone else heal, you get a healing yourself. Today, I am proud to present Mr. Mark Roller to the President's Distinguished Scholar Award. Uh, I received my bachelor's degree from MU, University of Missouri, Columbia, and 
it also took prerequisites um, at a couple of different community colleges. And what makes this school special and perhaps different is the relationships you build. We have a small school, we have a small community, and you know, I went to MU as a school of 30,000 students. You could be in a room with uh, 100 other students and nobody would be where you're a number, and that's not the case here. Uh, you have a personal relationship with your instructors, your classmates. Um, our teachers were available late in the night and early in the morning. I'd send an email at 10 at night and have an answer at 5 in the morning. It was, it was kind of ridiculous, but it was really sweet having that intimate connection. Um, with my teachers and my classmates in the community. And and when you when we were working in the hospitals as nursing students, we'd see um, our coworkers were people we knew, uh, sometimes our patients, and, and that's what makes this school special. So I'd like to do something a little different in addition to giving a little speech. Um, help the graduates to connect, I'd like you to help you connect with your own strengths, what you learned in this process, not just the academics, not just the skills, but what you're taking away from this in your heart, in your mind, that's going to help you to go on from here. So, and if uh, family and friends, everyone in the audience can participate in this too. Uh, you just. I just invite you to think of an accomplishment you've had in your life or a struggle you've been through and how you succeeded through it. So what I'd like you to do is I invite you to close your eyes if that's comfortable and uh, feel the chair where you're sitting. Feel that support and take a couple of deep breaths. And for the students, just, if you will, go back in your mind to when you first uh, thought of your degree program and when you decided that this is what you wanted to do, when you became committed to that. I'm just like, invite you to connect to your feelings you had at that time. And just connect to maybe the excitement you had, maybe the hesitance, can I do this? The questions you had, the enthusiasm. And then fast forward in time a little bit to when things got a little bit harder. You were in the thick of your program. Maybe you had a huge test coming up. Maybe you had a long list of skills you were supposed to learn in one day. And just connect to what that was like. What that feeling brought up for you. Try to remember how you got through that. Did you stay up late? Whatever it was that gave you the strength to keep going. Did you have support? And lastly, um, come back to the present and just feel yourself now having completed this journey, this triumphant day. You've been successful. You've, you've made it through. You made it through that hard time we are just remembering. And as you sit here now, and you reflect back on that, on those times, try to remember and feel what, what it was that got you through. What skills you've had. Maybe beyond just the, uh, the practical skills you learned or the information. And I'd like to just tell you about uh, something that's inspired me. Um, is a book by Marcus Buckingham and Donald Clifton. It's called uh, Discover Your Strengths. And now there's Strength Finder 2.0, which is a, a number one New York Times bestseller, which came out of it. But basically, they did a lot of research from all these different professions. Um, people that excel in any profession, and they did long interviews, and what they found out, people who are really successful, or people that knew their strengths, um, it was actually, they found out more important to know your strengths and know your weaknesses and to use your strengths to your advantage. So
more important to do that than to be well-rounded and know a little bit of everything. So I'm hoping in this process you got to connect a little bit with what those strengths are, personal and specific to you. And hopefully you can use this in your next interview. Uh, <laughs> because that question will surely be a part of it. So thank you all and I'm proud of all of us today. Hello.